Well, hey guys, welcome to New York. I'm here for a couple of days doing some work related activities and I am bringing you guys along for some more travel fun. If you are new here, I actually used to live in New York City. It's been a while since I've been back, so I'm pretty excited, but I'm staying at the Roxy Hotel and I'm gonna show you guys a quick room tour. A nice full length mirror here that goes into the closet bathroom wallpaper is jazzy Ooh, this is nice i'm wearing my glasses <laughs> five wits body lotion kleenex do you say kleenex or tissue oh you can plug up the sink with this it's like something you would gag somebody with then we have some accoutrement in there we have a bar of soap washcloths it's an interesting this trash can Spare roll of toilet paper and a hair dryer. Toilet, hook on the back. I like to show these little details so that if you ever consider staying here, you know what to expect. Ooh, this is neat. Body wash, the daily conditioner, and the daily shampoo from Five Wits. Get a little ledge there. Check out the lights. I know that's kind of a weird thing to care about, I love this. All right, here's our bed. Looks nice and comfy. End tables are really cute. I like those. And I love this little radio. It was turned on when I came in, but I turned it off for copyright reasons. We've got these interesting lamps. Our overhead lamp. Then we have a Schmeg mini fridge. This looks like a giant version of those skincare fridges that were so popular then during the pandemic. We have some libations and some beverages in there. Here are our snack options. Looks like we've got, what is this? Oh, reusable face masks, version of Swedish fish, hand sanitizer, Snickers, Bobo's oat bar, legally addictive, the OG, Advil, Altoids that are sugar free. What is this? Oral care. Marine bioactive mouth rinse. This almost looks like, I don't know, something you put in a flask and carry to, to prom. Okay, um, jokes aside. We've got an adapter here. USB kits. Pinot Noir. Love kits, okay. Uh, Andy Warhol playing cards. Pitted deodorant. What in the, a sniff and uplift fur needle deodorant. This toothpaste is a lot of fun. The mint flavor I would not bother with because they have so many cool flavors. Marvis, it's expensive, but the tube is pretty. Bougie looking toothbrush there. More snacks, uh, beef jerky. What is this? Chips, classic sea salt, caramel corn, peanut M&Ms. Brooklyn born chocolate. And then we have this wee petite ice. Then we have some sparkling water, trash can, and a lamp. It's really cool in here. This kind of skews me out a little bit. This height, people down there working. Ooh, gives me the willies. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Tomorrow. All right, I just got ready. We're gonna go to dinner. This is what I'm wearing. This top, I don't know if you can see, is really comfy. It's from Target. I think it's a new day. It's old. Uh, I don't think they carry it in stock anymore. And these pants, really comfy from the Amazonian. And then my flats are from the Targe as well. And I've got my little gold hoops from my Fab Fit Fun Box and this little black camera bag also came from the Targe.
was I had this squash dish so yeah that was a lot of fun I got to meet a lot of people and chit chat I had a really good time just socializing there were some other derms there at this event and we got to talking about the trials and tribulations of our former residency days and just shooting stories so it was really um, kind of therapeutic so to speak to just talk to them uh, I'm coming in tonight. I brought this e.l.f. Happy Hydration Cream with me. This is a great budget-friendly find. It has hemp seed oil in it, which is, you know, an emollient. It may have some antioxidants. I also like the, um, it's fragrance-free, by the way. Um, e.l.f. also makes their Holy Hydration Cream. I really like that a lot. It is, a, well, I should, I say this, but don't quote me on it. It's really affordable because last i checked it was really affordable but with inflation who knows and that's gonna be it i'm not even i didn't bring my tretinoin because tomorrow get excited i'm going to glow bar and i'm getting a facial i'm gonna lay off the tretinoin tonight and i didn't use it last night i didn't bring it with me and i warned them that i'm on it that i use it i'm back i put on my pajama shirt over my head too quickly and it kind of disrupted my hair turban. I remember to bring it. You know, one thing that's funny about me, here most people say that they get drained after like talking to people, but I actually get warmed up and then I have a hard time shutting up. <laughs> it, you know, it's like in the beginning, I think a lot of people think I'm shy. I'm really not shy, but it takes me some time to warm up. I don't enjoy small talk. You know, to a certain extent it's fine, but after a while it's like, Okay, yeah. <laughs> to a certain extent, small talk is fine, but I don't enjoy like going on and on and on and just trying to make conversation. I am fine meeting somebody, introducing myself, and being perfectly silent for a while, and then just naturally launching into conversation. And once I get into the conversation, then I just want to keep talking and talking and talking. And so I'm thankful I have you guys because I can talk your ear off and help me wind down. Like, you know, people always leave things like this or dinners or whatever, and they're always like, whoo, as soon as I get home, I'm barely gonna have the energy to take my makeup off, and I'm just gonna dive in bed. And I'm like, no, I need like, I need to like, yeah, I can't just get in the bed right away. First of all, I have to take my shower. I can't just, wa I can't just wash my face at night. I have to like take a full blown shower. Even if I showered before going out, like, I don't know, the cooking smells or restaurants and stuff, it kind of keeps me out for some reason. Um, I did not bring CeraVe healing ointment this time. I did bring the Neutrogena lip mask, which um, I gotta tell you guys, I recently decided to give the Laneige sleep mask a try again. And Spoiler alert, I still hate it. It dries my lips out. It, it, it's, it makes it feel a lot rougher the following morning than had I not used anything at all. So, and it's odd because when I tried the Tatcha version, Tatcha has a, you know, their version of a lip sleeping mask. And I was like, this is gonna be the same stupid thing as the Laneige one. But the Tatcha one actually took me by surprise. I loved it. I loved it. And I almost entertained the idea of repurchasing it. If it weren't for CeraVe healing ointment being so good, I would totally get back on it because it was really good. Like I was surprised. This is 
pretty good. This is the Neutrogena Lip Sleeping Mask. This is almost as good as that Tatcha one. It gets the job done. And uh, But the one by Neutrogena I really love is the Hydrating Lip Treatment. I'm almost finished with that. So this is another thing I've started doing, a little packing update, and it's made a huge difference. I have now started carrying, bringing with me, a separate toiletry bag for my hairbrushes. And I know what you're thinking, like, how extra do you need to be? Don't think of it as a toiletry bag, even though that's what it is. Think of it as a packing cube for hairbrushes. Because I have my regular hairbrush, and then I have my round brush. Ignore all my hair hanging off of these. I know I need to pull it off. Plus, I have these claw clamps, which I love and adore. And you need to keep all that contained. But if you put it in with your toiletry bag, then you've got hair all over the place. It's just, and you don't have, there's not enough room in the toiletry bag to put all the brushes and stuff. So separate toiletry bag for, for hair stuff. This one that I just held up was a Clinique free gift tote bag. It's like perfect for hair brushes. So that's a little packing tip you didn't ask for. This is what I've been washing my face with for travel purposes. It's the Paula's Choice Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. It's pretty good. I like it. But I cracked into a new tub of CeraVe cleansing balm. I finished the other one that I was traveling with. It smells exactly like butter. Like when you smear this on your face, it's like you're you're making out with a piece of toast. It's it's an interesting an interesting experience. I am going to try and unwind, so I'm going to pick this up tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning for more. Good morning guys. It's a beautiful day in New York City. Today we have our facial that I'm gonna go to and take you guys along. I had a great sleep last night and I just went down and got um, an Americano at the coffee shop downstairs and it's so good. New York has some of the best coffee. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the coffee here. It's always super smooth, but hot. You know, I know it's trendy to have coffees now that are like kind of lukewarm, but I like it really hot. And they, they always they always give the perfect temperature. Takes me back to when I lived here. Curious to know what's going on down there. And you can see right there they have the city bikes you could get. I just put on some sunscreen, the can make mermaid gel, but I think they're gonna have me wash my face before the facial. That's a cool building there. It kind of looks like a Jenga, <laughs> like that game Jenga. All right, we're here at Glow Bar. <laughs> we were talking about this yesterday. <laughs> My face washing. <laughs> oh yeah. I like to do like lots of circles. I don't know. Um, do you use any wash accessories, Andrea? No. Just my fingers. <laughs> Sometimes I'll do like a like the little cup wrist cups. Oh um, yeah, the ones from um, Nye. Oh, yeah. you mean to keep your wrists from getting wet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are nice. That uh, syrup, the nice and white syrup, felt nice. I'm excited to try it. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. Mm -hmm. I can use it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then use towels. Good. I'm for our towels. Thank you so much. The arrangement. What's your name? Tony. Tony, nice, nice to meet you. you. All right, we're here. When you're this looks all set up, you're, I'm gonna have you lift your head for me. I'm gonna come right under you, right here with this headband. You can come right back down. All right, so before we hop into the fun stuff, I have your form in front of me. I just wanna confirm a few things. I'm gonna tone the skin and take a look. 
but let's hop right into it. Why don't you tell me about your skin, what we're using, and how we're feeling about it today? Um, so I have a very basic skincare routine. Cleanse it. I do a double cleanse mm -hmm. at night. Uh, sometimes a hydrating serum, always moisturizer at nighttime. Mm -hmm. But without fail, 100% of the time, I always wear sunscreen. Amazing. Every single day. <laughs> Most important part. Yes. I mean, you have beautiful skin to be expected. Alrighty. Is there anything that you were hoping that we focus on today in terms of treatment? Um, no, just moisturizing. Please. Gotcha. Alrighty, so what I would love to do, this is just a bit of toner so I can get a closer look, but I would love to get in there with a nice lactic acid peel, something that'll really bring some moisture to the skin while still adding some brightness. We'll pop on a nice hydrating mask and then we can get under some LED light to really soak it all in. Sounds good. Alrighty, let me get this light off. So this is lactic acid? Yes. <laughs> well hey guys i'm back from the facial uh i hopefully i captured some of it but they did the red light treat red and blue light leds red light it is anti-inflammatory and blue light can help to target the acne causing bacterium cutie bacterium acnes and red and blue light together they actually can be pretty beneficial for the treatment of acne now they sell these um at home acne treatment masks and also not only the mask, but you can get like this handheld wand, it's called a light stem. And those can be really helpful to do yourself at home as maintenance. The only problem is, and I was telling the esthetician this, is those things are only as useful as you are in doing them. And it can be kind of time consuming to do, uh, but you know, some people are just super motivated to do the at home light masks. She did uh, lactic acid, which is super, super mild. And yeah, it was just very relaxing laying there. Um, that those, those bed, and they're not beds, whatever they're called, treatment table, <laughs> so comfortable. Every time I get anything done, I always feel like I need one of these as a bed. But really what it is, is you, I need somebody touching my head like that because it's relaxing, it makes you want to fall asleep. That was really cool. We're gonna go to lunch in a bit uh, to a restaurant called Jack's Wife Frida. And I think I've been to it a couple of many years ago. But you know, I was chit chatting with um, some people because I haven't been back to New York in since like, I don't know, 2015. Yeah, 2015 was the last time I was here. And first of all, I was shocked. I don't know if I told you guys this yesterday. I was shocked by LaGuardia Airport because <clears throat> LaGuardia historically has been like the worst airport ever, just very unsightly for lack of a better word. And just very bare bones, rough around the edges. There was never anything to occupy your time there when you got to your gate early. I mean, it was, it was just a very depressing airport. My gosh, I had no, I, I had heard rumblings that they were <clears throat> renovating it or whatever, but I was shocked when I landed at how amazing LaGuardia is now. It's beautiful. I mean, for an airport, it's, it's a very, very nice. It's superior for sure to JFK. So highly recommend flying into LaGuardia. The, vi the vibe, the mood here is totally different than it used to be. It's much more subdued. This is, this is what we're dealing with, with traffic. It's like, where, where are we? And I was talking to some people and they were saying, yeah, you know, people are still working from home. And they were also saying how that's impacted you know, a big, a big thing here is after work, going out for happy hours with your coworkers and stuff like that. And I mean, that was never a big thing for me, but, um, or my coworkers, you know, in medicine, but you know, business people and whatnot. 
But now that so many companies, they're working from home, when you're working from home, you're not as inclined to go out. So it's definitely, it's definitely had a huge impact. I love the old buildings though, like this one right here. shower what a fun day nighttime skincare routine i did a double cleanse to remove mascara and sunscreen using the cerave makeup remover balm and then the polish choice foaming cream cleanser as a second step in the shower finished that bad boy up and then came out and just applied to ever so slightly damp skin the elf uh hemp moisturizer fragrance free affordable that was my nighttime skincare routine. Shout out to the facialist esthetician today. I thought she did a really good job. Facials, they are not something that I typically do. I have had a handful of them in my lifetime. I always find them, I shouldn't say always, majority of the time I find them incredibly relaxing. This one in particular was really fun to do in terms of relaxation. She did a really good job with the massage. Everything was done correctly in terms of me lying down so she started out with lactic acid and then she did uh, a niacinamide serum she did the red light therapy red and blue light therapy like she also put on a moisturizer and she also put on sunscreen and my face 
has felt just fine, not irritated. We'll see over the next few days. I don't imagine that it is gonna aggravate my skin because, you know, I'm pretty, I'm pretty seasoned because I try out quite a few things. So yeah, it was great. She did a really good job and I was really impressed with the process. The company is called Globe, Globar. Yeah, they used a Neutrogena sunscreen and Neutrogena's new niacinamide serum to my face and the facial. And it was great. No complaints there, very relaxing, hygienic. And they took a really thorough history. You had to fill out a form online before going there, talking about like what medications you took and all that kind of stuff. So I was really impressed with that. that. I've, I've not had a facial that um, thorough, that, that detail focused and, and professional. So that was really cool to do. I don't get facials. They can be beneficial for some, but for others, depending on the facialist and what exactly they're doing, they can end up aggravating your skin a lot. So it's not something that I would tell patients to necessarily pursue for the treatment of anything, but if somebody likes doing them and finds that their skin looks more radiant and glowy, by all means, carry on, uh, namely if it's in your budget, of course. Um, you know. I, so I think they, they can be helpful in that regard just for more radiant skin, provided that they're not irritating to you. So that was a lot of fun. Then came back here, chatted with you guys, got some work done. Then they took us to lunch um, and that was delicious. Jack's wife, Frida, I believe I ate there back in the day when I lived here, which seems like yesterday. And they had a bunch of appetizers. The only appetizer that was vegan was this salt and pepper eggplant. It was really good. And I got spaghetti squash with tofu and a side of spaghetti squash because I love it so much. And the tofu had that zatar seasoning on it, I think. It was really good. And so that was delicious, delicious. It wasn't on the menu online, but it was on the menu that they provided us. FYI, if you're checking out the menu. What else did I have there that was really good? Oh, they brought out like a cucumber salad to pass around. That was delicious. So that was a really good meal. Then they took us on a boat cruise tour of the Hudson River, which you guys saw. We passed by the Statue of Liberty. Really fun time. And I, like I said earlier, I'm having a good time being back in the city and Tomorrow is my last day, so make sure you check in for tomorrow's vlog, which will go live at noon Eastern Standard Time. You'll see the rest of this trip. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up and have some special things planned, and we're gonna learn some, they, they have a session for us to learn some about the science behind some of Neutrogena's new products, which I am really excited about. So this trip, I was invited to come on by Neutrogena as a you know education for me to learn more about their products because I love them so much. I've been using Neutrogena products since I was a teenager and I've been recommending them since people have been asking for my opinion. Uh, they're a great brand and I didn't realize they've been around since the 30s. I learned that last night. And so I'm really excited to hear about their new products because from a content creation perspective, I think that's really helpful to hear um, some of the science behind some of the t um, formulations. So that'll be really helpful for me. And then we go to the airport, which hopefully I have enough time. I know this sounds weird, but I really wanna show you guys LaGuardia Airport because I was just shocked by LaGuardia Airport. I know it's weird, who comes to New York and talks about the airport, but I'm telling you, I mean, this trip was pretty short. We didn't really have time to see stuff, but you got to see the Statue of Liberty, hey. Um, but yeah, this trip was of course very short, so not too much sightseeing, but lots of fun stuff nonetheless. You got some great city views with dinner last night and then the tour today. But yeah, this trip, again, I was invited to come here by Neutrogena. And so a big thank you to them and a big thank you to you guys, because like I said, in my uh, trip to um, Isla, Isla Palms. Like I said, my uh, trip to Palm Springs, which YouTube invited me on that one, 
The only reason that I get these offers to come on these brand trips is because you guys engage in my content. Yes, I love making the content. It's my passion. I enjoy it, putting it out and everything. But it's you guys watching it, engaging in the content, and coming back to watch it. That is why I get these opportunities. And it's really fun for me to, to share them with you guys and, and everything. So a big thank you to you all for again engaging in my content it opens up these doors which i really am so grateful for because this you know this has been a great trip a great learning experience networking and a fun thing to vlog a really fun thing for me to vlog and so a big thank you to, to neutrogena and to you guys for for all of your support so i gave you guys a tour of this room this hotel is, like I said, in a movie, old movie theater, and there's a movie theater downstairs called Django, and it's really cute. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to scoot in there and show you. I wanted to film in there earlier, but there was like a something going on, and I didn't want to, you know, be shooting my camera all around. Uh, but yeah, so there's a movie theater downstairs. Uh, if you're curious about this hotel. There is a coffee shop, which we went to this morning. Delicious. There's a restaurant I didn't eat at. But I will say this, if you are somebody who likes to go to sleep, let's say before 10 p.m., don't stay here because they have a live band in the lobby. And it's like a, you know, it just, you can probably hear it. I'm trying to, have you guys position where hopefully you can't in case it gets copyright but yeah there's really loud music it's nice music but if you are like me and a light sleeper you're not gonna sleep through that it cuts out they stop they the band stops playing i feel like maybe around 11 30 or something which you know if you go to sleep early you're not gonna like that i saw in the reviews people commenting that the rooms are because it's an old building there's like no noise insulation but there's this feature when you walk in, you can turn this dial and the instructions say that it creates noise, noise blocking so that you don't have sounds coming in. And I think it works because maybe I was just exhausted last night, but I didn't hear any sounds whatsoever. But all that to say, I do think this could be on the noisier side. It's more of a you know, experience, vibe, staying, the, the hotel is cool looking, but if you're here and you need a good night's sleep, it could not be as ideal here because of the noise. But for me, I slept like a rock. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. Like I said, stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog. We have a whole another fun day here ahead of us. But if you guys enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.